So he says, if you played Resident Evil, I said, the president is evil. And then we were just chatting about Trump. Ha! Ah, you scared me, which is great. Because we're here for the spooky edition of Pixel Perfect, Ireland's number one gaming show. Here at Token in Smithfield, here's what's on the show today. Halloween. We all know it means hello young child in Scottish, but we also know it's a time for playing scary AF games. My guest for today is Ryan Cullen. Hello. There he is. I'm dressed as Bin Bag Batman. Ryan, what are you, what are you dressed as? Just myself. Just scary kicking. enough. Uh, we, we've got a couple of scary games. First one we're going to play, The Evil Within 2. Let's crack on. What is it, The Evil Within? The Evil Within 2. Okay, it looks like it's set in a credit union. <laughs> if I look at this, uh, <laughs> this start screen, all right? So. Something not quite right. It would be a terrible game if everything was fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Ah, right. Well, that's bizarre. It's that him. looks like a proper <laughs> selfie. <laughs> yeah. Looked like he was doing a duck face type of job. <laughs> That's one of those lovely MySpace angles. Jesus. Oh, right. well, okay. 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 What the fuck is that? Can't That's, look at that speed. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's pulled two hamstrings. <laughs> uh, there we well, go. there you go. No. It is kind of, it, it keeps you. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> don't want that from a game. Yeah. If he's cutting your head off and putting them, them heads are all smiling, so it mightn't be that bad. Yeah, have a good laugh. I mean, maybe it's just, we're, we're, we just don't understand. Hop. There's a door. We well, you know monsters can't get through doors. Yeah. Quick! Thank oh. God for that log. <laughs> oh. <laughs> be a chub well, that, that, That's that done for today. <laughs> Shit, I'm trapped in here. Uh, lucky he said that out, we wouldn't have known. <laughs> and he's afraid of closed spaces, so that's a bigger concern for him. Ah. Well, I don't hear it. I must be safe. Well, what's that behind you? You're so. <laughs> that's a rag, that's all right. Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Things relentless. So, so the lock, so the door was, was fine, but brick. Oh, here that's we go. A piece back, of piss. back to slow running. Must oh, there's, some, there's a mate. He's, you know, I wouldn't run to him either because that guy's clearly very calm about it. No. Oh, what the? It's always the way, isn't it? Hold on. You're escaping a fucking. Oh, oh you can struggle, great. <laughs> Press A to struggle. You're like, no, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, I told you I've accepted death. It was just a porn induced okay. hallucination. That's oh, right. Is that a big, yeah. oh no, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> if I saw him walking in, I'd be like, Jesus, this chap's gorgeous. And I'd be like, fairly like, look at his arms. This guy's reading glasses really froze me because they don't seem like. Yeah, they, they seem like he's on a pretty good wage, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, you're, you're, uh, you're very popular for your roast battles. You're very popular roast night here in Dublin. Yeah. I I mean, if you were to roast one of these guys, I mean, what would you go for? He kind of, to be honest to me, he looks like a Desperate Housewives character, rather than <laughs> with a gun. Do you know, you, you actually can't, just, this is just coming to my head, you look like Jeffrey Dahmer, the murderer. Is it the bin bag? No, it's the my, face. It's my face. You know, it, it, you look like Jerry, Jeffrey Dahmer in a bin bag. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I actually don't even know what he looks like. You look like the movie that just came out, My, my Friend. Do you know what you look like? You look like... If Kevin McGarren was unsuccessful. <laughs> so now, so now, now, it, now it just gets me now, so. <laughs> Yeah, when the, the stage isn't there, you know, it does feel like bullying. You know? Yeah, when well, it's just the two of us here and I wasn't planned, uh, you know, I wasn't planning on you saying those things to me. <laughs> so what about this, right? Oh, I love the little white speckles on your t-shirt. Were you out in the snow? <laughs> Before you came <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> I didn't even go there. Oh, here we go. Slutty nurse, Halloween yeah. slutty ghost nurse. The costume everyone wants. Can't say slutty anymore, and you shouldn't. Oh, well, this is freaky. Uh, I mean, oh, here we go, this should be fine. So this should be a fantasy, you know? You're in a chair, you're all tied up. Hot it's nurse. not a fantasy when they've got a scan of your brain beside Fair them. enough. If you were saying this is like some sort of sexy role play, you'd be really, if, if your girlfriend, you're just like, she's like, so you have a, an inoperable tumor. <laughs> <laughs> it's got like an absolute diagram of your health. And I'd say I could grab this bottle somehow. It's always the way, isn't it? You wake up hungover, you can't even move your arms to pick up a nice you cold brew. <laughs> can't run, can't pick anything up. So Ryan, have you ever had anything supernatural happen to you? Um, when my uncle died, all the pictures in his house fell off the wall. Jesus. Yep. Gas explosion. <laughs> Arsenal menu. I'm Select Arsenal. weapon. An Arsenal fan. Oh, well, let's get open the Arsenal menu. <laughs> yeah, wing her out. No. All the guns are off target. But great potential. Yeah. 
We finished fourth. I can't, I can't get over the pace he's going. All right, well, the last. Oh, I run after that guy too, because the last one just threw a knife at you. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hey, hello, my mate. You forgot your knife? Oh, well, no. Hey, what's up with your head? <laughs> I'm here to help you. That was a great shot. Thank you. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> all right, he's already gone. What happened to the last guy? Hey, mate. Are you okay? <laughs> like, the, the, the shadows are still freaking me out. Yeah, that's pretty sick. What was he trying to make? Oh, Jesus Christ. In other words, I keep freaking out about lamps. Am I shaking? I'm closing this door if I can. No, no, no. Okay. There we are, a bit of blood. Nice couch. It looks like somewhere where Bonnie Vera would write his songs. Look, he's even still going downstairs. Yeah. Dinner's ready. Because <laughs> yeah. I know I obviously have the best Halloween costume you've ever seen. We established that off air. Uh, but what's the best, oh. uh, best or worst Halloween costume you've ever had? I went, I actually did go once as uh, Princess Diana. Uh, before she was died. No, no. Oh, okay. Um, oh, well, you know when that comes up, melee attack? No, no. Just, deal, just deal in case it comes up. <laughs> Break. Melee attack and it's a deal with a minor. Surely you can get in the car. Doors open. Oh. What the? F yeah, see. Oh, climbing on top of it. Why don't you just climb down there? It's like, you know, like for over Christmas, like your, your granddad gets up to try and help. And you're like, no, no, get down there, granddad. Yeah. Sit down. We'll sort that out for you. Can you please stop climbing? Please stop climbing on the car, Grandad. Okay. But I just wanted to help. Now this way to the credit union. Oh. <laughs> We're glad you came. I once dressed as a Nazi to, Halloween, uh, to a party and I had to apologize, but I, in my defense, I had no idea it was Halloween. So given how, how cunning you were in your movement last time, I think you're gonna be easy for you to sneak around these, these zombies quite easily. Yeah, everything can see me now. <laughs> Right, I'm going down. There you are, sneaking on top of the car with your flashlight waving in the air. No one will ever see it. Absolutely no way this one. Oh, how do I... <laughs> ah, we go. There you are, go around for now and see what's going on. Okay, there you are. Oh, yeah, these boys, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> I didn't see that ending poorly at all. Thank God, um, when it comes to zombies with glowing eyes, Look at that. the car is their natural enemy. Bollocks. And now I've told everyone where I am with my gunfire. Right, back on the car with me. I'll be fine. Well, at least this one. Etch you. Oh, oh, look at this now. Guts torn out. My brother uh, used to work in a centro, and a guy came in to rob him with a knife. And the guy said, give me the money or I'll smash this off your head. It's <laughs> <laughs> a knife. Oh, I wouldn't stab you now. I used, I used to work in a shop too. And someone tried, he tried to uh, take the money out of the, the till with um, a screwdriver. Oh, really? Which I, I got way more terrified of than like a knife. Because oh, yeah, if someone came on with a knife, like, he's came prepared. This guy's just trick-or-treating. He's just like, give me the candy. Oh, hang on. Oh, God. Like, he's not even taking a run-up. That's like a, an extra. Oh, yes. Yeah. This will be cut down for time, but we've actually been playing this for three hours. Right, well, that's the Evil Within 2. I give it five bin bag Batman bin bags. Uh, what would you give it? Out of five? I don't know. <laughs> five. Well, I'll give it seven. Seven. Well, there you have it. Now the game everyone's talking about, Assassin's Creed Origins. Here we go. Assassin's Creed Origins feels like a soft reboot for the series. While it very much plays out like previous titles, some sharp edges have been rounded off and seem to have made a lot of strides to evolve alongside other open world titles. Mostly this applies to the open world of Egypt, which feels like the series' most expansive playground. Other than a few windowed interiors, it's easy to cross deserts, swamps, farmyards, high seas, the cities and ruins without even meeting a loading screen. This makes it far more likely to randomly wander upon both side and story missions without heavily relying on navigation markers. This is the first Assassin's Creed to have completely done away with the minimap. In its place is a combination of two mechanics, a Skyrim slash Fallout style compass and Sinu, your pet eagle. Instead of being inundated with hundreds of little markers on your minimap, as previous titles tended to do, you can now navigate to an area of interest like a military base using the compass and, and then using Senu to take to the skies for a bird's eye view. With these mechanics it really feels like Ubisoft are able to present the world they've created with pride. Bayek's journey retrieves some familiar ground for the series as his personal vendetta gets him wrapped up in a much larger conspiracy, but Bayek feels like his own character. While there is a new RPG levelling up system, Bayek feels well versed in combat from the start of the game. Where you were previously able to pull off really impressive counter moves with a dozen unique animations for each weapon type, you now have a very predetermined set of moves, all mapped to the shoulder buttons. Right bumper is now your light melee attack, 
while right trigger is heavy. Your thumb is now free to operate the camera while you really feel the difference in both power and risk between tapping off a quick attack or lunging in with a beefy heavy. More is required of the player, and you feel like you are really controlled by it, instead of stepping back as an observer as the likes of Ezio does something impressive. Through not playing to the usual copy and paste year in and year out, Ubisoft have made something substantial and a serious contender for Game of the Year. We give it a 9.2 out of 10. So we're back, part two of our Spookathon. <laughs> this game, Spook. yeah, like it. You could, well, it's not yours. I'll have that's mine. <laughs> uh, next game is Slender: The Arrival. Uh, oh, so no, not Slender: The Departure. Yeah, yeah, because that would be uh, that would be that would be ridiculous. He's gone. He's gone, and we're all <laughs> fine. So Slender's Slender's mom is like, "Oh, I'm upstairs in Departures. You better better <laughs> you better run." So, do you know the story of of Slender Man? I think I've seen a video. Yeah. Well, it was a video, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It Could was technically a, a movie. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> a, a, a thing, like long arms and legs on a wall. This is it. Okay, right, so, that's all I know. Slenderman is sort of a 4chan internet form creepypasta story. So creepypasta people do all weird made up stories online. Okay. Um, and it kind of spawned its own internet folklore. So much so that people believe it actually exists. And so much so that there was even two, uh, there was like, I think a girl was killed? Or, or, or someone was killed, and these two girls said it was because the Slender Man told them to do that. So this is why the internet should be banned. Yep. Yeah. So there you go. So, so a lot of lads met saying it, started writing their own stories, and now people are. I mean, that's just that's CNN, isn't it? That's it. I know. That's it. I'm going to start killing people in the name of Kane to me. Is this just like you're a? <laughs> this is just a real estate agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's getting really pissed off that the Slender thing keeps showing up. Yeah. I can't sell the house. <laughs> And too many bloody murders. <laughs> Tell you, lovely cafes, lovely amenities, but there's too many bloody murders. Oh God, this is the age of the millennial. Yeah. To film everything, can't even. Film. Yeah, but they do this. But what? Who's? Who, what iPhone has record in the corner like that? You know. What I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice walk. Yeah, it's lovely. Start us off. I can't picture anything going wrong. Just kind okay. of bit. What the? Navy, hell? very, very, very dark blue. Maybe he hit the wrong filter on. Now the tension's getting up yeah, here. I know. It's too. This is. Oh, so, what the hell? Who just knew you just had to have a black screen and that would scare the two of us? Bit of chili? They didn't eat it. They're just. Just gonna rinse the chili. <laughs> we should have just went straight up the stairs. Yeah. That would have been probably. Oh god. Ah no, this is always this. Oh way. no. Ah, here we go. Like, How do we not see those going in? Slender boy. It's, it seems <laughs> so less threatening when it's Slender boy. Like some like gay culture nickname or something. Yeah. yeah. He's Look very, at his hands. Yeah, he, he's very. <laughs> he's very like. He's, he's got mumps. Look how well that it is now. Lovely. Ah, sure. Look. Maybe he's in the back garden. Oh, this guy's a maniac, the Slenderman. He's oh, pushed the TV. He's pushed the TV over. Oh God. Oh. What did that say? Look at the walls. The... Are they drawings or the? Okay. Oh no. Slenderman. Oh, we just get rid of that. Oh, I, I just can't, can't even look at Slenderman. We just get rid of it. It's just in the shed. Oh, God. Are you scared of fauna? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know, if you're also doing this, you think you'd just go like, I might bring a mate. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, you do know you're going to be chasing something that's completely, um, you know, Unexplainable. Massive <laughs> long arms. That's grand. Possibly dangerous. Uh, sure, we, had a couple of, we had a couple of badgers there last week. I yeah. Yeah. Should be grand. Uh, sorry. Oh, God. Hello. Are you all right? Oh! There we go. I mean, I walked up to a guy huddled in a corner who, yeah, yeah, you know. You didn't help things. That scared the shit out of me. I mean, this game actually is, is quite engrossing. I realise I've been quite quiet playing it, but I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of scared shitless. <laughs> he came for me. It'd be great if you just started correcting the grammar. I'm not good with uh, control in my head. That's fine. Move it very. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd be freaked the fuck out, wouldn't you? Like. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. What's the best thing you've ever blown up with fireworks on Halloween? Action man. In my head, I thought like tied to the thing, it'll shoot up. Exploding the air, yeah. But it's just too heavy. It, must, <laughs> it just falls over and just explodes on site. So basically, you just blew him up. It's like an execution more than a yeah. Apollo 13 type of job. I thought that was a man. It's a tree. I'm hearing my heart beating. 
Woods. I don't know why I'm running so frantically into the woods. Nice job, life. It's very dense, mate. Why is that breaking? Alright. Oh, No, 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 no. Behind us. Where is he next? Okay, we're getting into our social. What's up, man? Down here. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> Me, no, I'm not playing this. No, no, I'm done. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's fine. The ground. It doesn't pause! Right now. There it is. No, nope, that's not. No, that's fine. Thank you very, thank you very much. <laughs> You're all right. Right, so there you have it. We're scared shitless. Uh, Halloween is over. Yeah. But look, have a fucking very spooky November. <laughs> and uh, Ryan, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks very much for having me. Man. It's we great fun. Sweat, sweat, yeah, <laughs> so sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Something slender man could never do. You'd be like two foot away. <laughs> <laughs>